I started by turning a Douglas fir 4x4 down to about 3 and an eighth inches in diameter. And then I smoothed it up with a Rotex sander. I go, that's cheating. I cut that cylinder into two pieces and then chucked each one into my bowl chuck. And I bored an inch and a quarter hole with a Forstner bit, about an inch deep into both ends of each cylinder. That's a pretty slick way of boring a hole, almost dead center. Next, I marked quadrants on both of those cylinders. And then I transferred those quadrant marks up to the top so I could see them. That way I could mount the cylinder in my sled and cut grooves using a dado blade. I had that dado blade set up so it would cut a 3 8 inch wide groove. Now the depth of that groove is really important. You'll notice in later in the video that I had to put some cardboard in the bottom of the grooves I cut because I made them too deep. If you make that groove too deep, the pencils will fall below the surface of the cylinder. And then other pencils will partially fall into that groove too and it will jam up the pencil dispenser. So the grooves have to be deep enough so the pencil falls in there and stays a little bit proud so the other pencils roll right over the top of the groove. Once I made the first two cuts, I could roll the cylinder until the grooves were standing straight up. That way I could cut the grooves on quadrants. I stacked up all four sides in a jig and drilled right through them at the same time with that same inch and a quarter Forstner bit. So the holes are perfectly centered. And I used a 15 degree jig to mark a 15 degree angle on the bottoms of both dispensers I was making. I cut that notch with a miter saw and then finished it up with a Japanese pole saw. The next step was to make the handles. I roughed them out, made them as big as I could, and then measured in from each end about an inch and a half. One inch so the tail of each knob would fall into the hole I'd already bored, and another half inch for the thickness of the sides. And then I split the difference and made a mark right in the center. That's where I'd cut the two knobs loose from each other. I used a set of calipers so I could turn the tails down to exactly an inch and a quarter. First I cut with a rough end gouge and then I cleaned everything up and you'll notice I made those tails just a little bit skinnier right where they'd penetrate the side of the pencil dispenser so the knob would spin when it penetrated the pencil dispenser but still be snug inside the cylinder. Now I'm cutting right to the center of those knobs shaping each side, and I finished it off by cutting the two knobs loose on my bandsaw, and then I cleaned them up on my disc sander. I glued everything up, I even added a little strip at the back of the pencil dispenser so it would stand at exactly 15 degrees, and tacked everything together with 23 gauge pins. I dry fitted the cylinder, and then I started applying the back and the front. I glued up the sides and used quarter inch plywood for the back. And if you think you can throw together one of these pencil dispensers real quick, give it up. It takes hours to make one of these things. They may seem real cute, but they're a real chore to put together. I used the back to square up the pencil dispenser too, just like you would any cabinet. I used quarter inch plexiglass on the front and pre-drilled for the holes so I wouldn't split the sides when I drove the screws in. But I didn't install the front until after I'd installed the diverters. There are two diverters that have to be put into the inside so that the pencils won't jam up behind the cylinder. I adjusted those diverters with a pry bar so they'd just barely touch the cylinder. Then I screwed each one of them in so they wouldn't move. I painted the inch and a quarter holes I'd bored in the cylinders using yellow glue and then installed all the knobs permanently. I attached a dug fir stop to the front of the dispenser so the pencils wouldn't roll right off. And then the last step was making the lid. I cut that on my table saw and rabbit it out the back so it would drop inside the pencil dispenser just a little bit. You gotta have a lid on a pencil dispenser or the whole purpose is defeated. The reason for the pencil dispenser is so that guys wouldn't take too many pencils at the road shows. And if you don't have a lid and you don't screw it down, some guy's gonna reach right in there and grab a handful. Thank you.